top of it every time we put it out. So hope, hope, hoping they make a, a deadly combination. We're able to get it done this evening. The wind keeps coming from the west here. It's not ideal, but we came in. We walked in a different route this time. We walked around this thicket to where our scent never once got blown through that, that uh, thicket. Hoping that little uh, game plan maneuver uh, pays off. We'll see. See what we can do. down here at the edge of the woods where where that doe ran in uh, we looked at the footage and it looks like the shot's just a little high but we're hoping that it um, caught the lungs on the top side but it's been probably over 30 minutes since I shot her and we think we heard her crash we could see the light had knocked there for a little bit and then it was kind of shaking I think that's kind of where she had fallen down and you know kind of you know, making her last breaths hopefully but if it's where the lighted knock was, then we should be all right. So we're gonna head into those woods and um, hopefully that arrow was still there. If not, then we're gonna have to back out. Fingers crossed that this doe is down and that we got it done. And look what we just found. Urban archery is about thinning out the deer population around these, uh, you know, around the cities, urban areas, neighborhoods, you know, the heavily populated areas. And this track fits the bill perfect. This track's 100 acres, but surrounded on all sides by subdivisions. And you can actually see out here the survey stakes and flags are about to start breaking ground on this property. So next year, this won't even be here. Um, got some great footage. Um, Shared some good times, shared a good time in the stand with Ruby, that's what it's all about.